Hello everybody, welcome into the fallout shelter. This is going to be a quick video on the coronavirus, uh, the novel coronavirus first detected in the United States and what that really means and where the real story is in it. This will be pretty short because we've all been being bombarded with the coronavirus for the past few weeks about how it started off as it's not a big deal, it's in China. Oh, we're going to screen people, but it's still not a big deal. Oh, well, there's somebody here. It's not a big deal, but we're going to divert aircraft everywhere. Anyway, uh, I'll leave links below for all of the things that uh, that I show you here. The first travel-related case of the 2019 novel coronavirus detected in the United States. This is from the CDC.gov. Um, we've all heard the news of that already today. It, it, of the guy that uh, in Washington that, that already has tested positive for the coronavirus. Uh, and in China, uh, this came out just a little while ago, a few hours actually. The Chinese health authorities sought to impose a quasi-quarantine Tuesday around the hot spot of a mystery pneumonia-like virus that has claimed at least nine lives in China and was confirmed in the United States for the first time. Uh... In an attempt to contain the virus, Chinese authorities advised people in the city of 11 million not to leave. But the U.S. case showed how far the virus has moved beyond the Wuhan region. Uh, we move on. That was from the Washington Post. Yeah, quarantine of 11 million people. Quarantine. What does that sound like? Uh, yeah, if it gets around. In China, hazmat teams are searching flights for deadly outbreak. So now that Chinese officials have confirmed that the mysterious pneumonia-like virus known as 2019 NCOV can spread between humans, the government is taking extra precautions. So they are sending teams in hazmat suits onto these airplanes. They go down the aisles and they're scanning passengers for the disease. I'm not going to play it. It's not my Twitter, but uh, there's videos of them doing this. So you can see that there. But what does all of this really mean? Well, here's what it really means. Uh, from CNN earlier to, uh, yesterday, vaccine for new Chinese coronavirus is in the works. So they're telling you how the vaccine is in the works and, and all that. Well, you know, it tells you that it takes about a year to go through, and that's because of all of the, uh, the tests. Well, check this out. <clears throat> this is the real story right here. This is from the Motley Fool investing firm. Wuhan coronavirus hits the U.S. and vaccine stock soars. Vaccine maker Novavax is running up on the news the coronavirus has infected a person in Washington state. This is the truth. A mysterious new virus in China has infected more than 300 people and killed six. I think that number's up to nine now. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the coronavirus started in Wuhan City and has spread to Thailand, Japan, South Korea, and on Tuesday, the CDC confirmed the virus reached the U.S. Shares of a certain biotech stock are soaring in response. Novavax is up 73% today from its closing price Friday. The vaccine specialist has its lead compound nanoflu in phase three trials to help stop the recent flu outbreak that has resulted in 57,000 deaths, but the company's platform Vaccines based on recombinant nanoparticle technology. Va yeah, vaccines based on recombinant nanoparticle technology has also been used against the MERS and coronavirus and SARS coronavirus. Novavax has reported success in animal models against both SARS and MERS. One big problem with using vaccines against emerging pathogens is that the drugs need to be approved by regulatory bodies, a process that can take years. I bet unless it's a big outbreak and an epidemic and all type of problems, and then I bet by uh, an executive order, it could be run right on through in the, mean, in the terms of an outbreak where we're having to monitor, you know, in case we reached an area where they were checking people on airplanes before they left other countries and monitoring people here in this country when they got off the airplanes. Oh, wait a minute. That's now. Uh... The flu kills more people, which is partly why Novavax has done human trials for its flu vaccine, but not for its drugs for SARS or MERS. While those viruses are highly dangerous, they are also limited in scope. But since we have it going on now, 
the stocks have skyrocketed. And when the stocks skyrocket, that means they are planning on massive profits. All right, I hope I kept this short enough not to lose your attention. I mean, we've all heard all the news about the coronavirus. I don't need to go on and on and on about that. This is the real news right here from The Motley Fool, and that is a highly uh, respected investing publication. So take that for what it is. I appreciate you all. Uh, thanks for checking this out, and I hope to have more content coming soon. Uh, been some things going on, but hope to be back with more soon. Thank you all. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.